YouTube, it's your boy, AI Lil Glow, and I'm coming at y'all with some like this ain't this just this video gonna show you how to make a slash and four. It's like not a stretch four, but a slash and four. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick the whole finishing pie chart, the all blue one. And you really gonna wanna max out in my opinion you should max all your defense out because you know, they say um anything with fours in it don't have the best defense. So when you mess all your defense out, you get 12. 12 defensive badges. And I feel like that's good. I feel like that's just right. Because that can be four gold badges. And when you get done with maxing the finishing and gold, and I mean the finishing and the um, defensive out, you're going to have 30 attribute of grades left. And you can really put them anywhere you would like. But in my opinion, I'm going to put it on ball handle. Right here, I'm just looking and testing stuff out. See if I get any other badge. And any other category, you don't. So, you're going to still just have one shooting and one playmaking. But have 30 and 12 defensive. So, you can put them anywhere you like. But, I'm going to throw it on ball handle. And, I'm going to have four. After I put it on ball handle, I'm still going to have four left. So, you can just put that anywhere. It don't really matter. You can spread them out. Anything. It don't matter. So, in my opinion, I think the best way for them 30 should be ball handle and pass accuracy. And you, if you keep him, if you make him 6'8", his vertical goes up and his speed, but his strength goes down. You don't want to be like a little baby down there neither. So, for the height, I say you should be Mm, I think 6-8 is fine. And then, if you max his weight out, if you max his weight out, he'll have a 79 strength, 265. Or you can make his weight a little bit lower and he can be like a little bit faster. I think that'll be fine right there. Wingspan, I think you see the benefits of max and, and minimum. So, you just pick whatever one you like. And I chose the slash to take over. And boom, you have a slash and four. Look at the similar two. That's perfect. So, once you, let's go look at the bad setup. Now, in my opinion, this might be the best bad setup for this build. Once you, and you know once on here, the 99 is really just a 95. You know, in park or whatever, once you hit 99, it, you get a plus five attribute upgrade. I mean, yeah, plus five. So, this right here would be the best, I think. Live CD finishers, you really don't need that. Well, you can use it in, um, in my career, but I think this is better for park. So, this right here would be great. You get seven Hall of Fame and a silver badge. John Slayer need to be a Hall of Fame. I know that for sure. If you're a six eight, they need to be Hall of Fame. Or you can really go go slittery finisher and fancy footwork there. Both of those could be go and it'll still be good. It'll be really, really good. And for your shooting, you can put on anything. I just say corner specialist. You can really just put on anything though. Quick first step would be good if somebody wanna hold you up tight. Which I nine or ten or not, and this right here is the best for defensive. Go rim protector, go box out, go rebound chaser, and go into my data. Perfect. All that is good. And boom, there you go. This is this will be the best build, the best bad setup for this build. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and. Remember to like the video and share it with your friends. And we out.